Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome here to the Launchpad and our live launch coverage of SpaceX Starlink 11-8 launching from Slick 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name's Zach, the founder and host here at the Launchpad, and here at TLP, it's our mission to inform and inspire the explorers of tomorrow because we believe that space is better together, and we're waiting for SpaceX to be in their live view of the pad here. Today's Falcon 9 booster is booster 1082, going for its 10th flight after previously supporting Starlink 7-9, 7-14, USSF-62, Starlink 8-2, 9-1, 11-1, -1, OneWeb 20, Starlink 9-11, 11-2, and here 11-8 today. Today's Falcon 9 booster is going to attempt to land on the drone ship, of course, I Still Love You, just stationed downrange in the Pacific Ocean. And there is a live view of the pad where you can see a frosty Falcon 9 ready to go for today's flight. We're going to sync up our T-0 with them here in just a moment. As always, if you guys have questions, you can send those in the chat by taking us at the launch pad, and we'll work on answering those live to the best of our ability through today's broadcast. As usual, SpaceX no longer provides live coverage through the deployment of Starlink, so you'll have to stay tuned to their social media for confirmation of payload deployment. But we'll be taking you all the way through SECO-1, uh, fairing deployment, and the landing of the first stage. At T-4 minutes, 20 seconds and counting, we do have the mission control nets now patched up, so we'll be listening in to them as well. I know we got lots of people tuning in from all over the world, so if you haven't yet, take a moment, let us know in the chat where you are watching from. I know we got people tuning in all over the world. We got Eric in Tampa, Tubby's in Saskatchewan, we got Michael in Detroit, Chaz is in Birmingham, UK, and I see Turkey as well, uh, Australia, Hungary, South Carolina, Netherlands, Ireland. It's great seeing so many of you here today. If you haven't yet, share out the stream, invite people to join us, and don't forget to engage that like button. It's free to do, and it really does help us out. L minus three minutes, 40 seconds and counting. We are now having strong back retract. You can see that truss structure behind Falcon 9 retracting just a couple of degrees away from the vehicle. Those lines, the connecting the vehicle, will be purged here shortly, and then during liftoff, that truss structure will retract to a 45 degree angle. The next major callout should be Falcon 9 startup at that T plus one minute mark. Uh, there will be a few callouts as they continue to top up the fuel tanks in preparation for today's flight. L minus three minutes, eight seconds, and counting. Lots of people tuning in from all over the world. Adam is in Las Vegas. I see South Carolina. Uh, Analogs in Preston, UK. Swulu is watching in the foggy Southern California. Chris is in San Diego. Montgomery, Alabama. Netherlands, France. Riverside, California. Fort Myers, Florida. Great to have you all here. I know if you're in the United States, it might be a slightly different morning uh, as uh, TikTok no longer exists in the United States. Uh, so we're glad to have you joining us here, filling some of that time with a Starlink launch. L minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. As always, as we get down to those final two minutes, let's see that go, no go in the chat. If you're a TLP member, don't forget to use those custom TLP launch emotes. A couple people pointing out, yeah, it would be the last launch uh, before the inauguration as well. L minus two minutes and counting till liftoff. Falcon 9 is fueled up, ready to go for today's flight. L minus one minute, 45 seconds and counting. Stage two locks closed completely. Okay. Uh, minus 90 seconds. That next call out will be Falcon 9 startup at T minus one minute. That's when Falcon 9 will take over the count. Then it'll be followed by the launch director giving a go no go at L minus 45 seconds. Falcon 9 is in startup.
LD is go for launch. Hold, hold, hold. Holding. Uh, held for a possible aircraft in the airspace. Launch report is running. That is a rare one to hear there. A hold for possible aircraft in the airspace. That Don't hear that very often. We'll listen in for any more information, but... Very likely that that will cause a scrub for today, um, and they'll have to try this again tomorrow. For uh, Veronica and those on the California Surfliner, I think it's called, uh, it uh, looks like your trade might be able to get underway here a little bit sooner than you thought. Uh, see if I can maybe get us a, a radar here. Oh, and it looks like they've already ended their feed. So, yep, that is the uh, end of today's uh, launch opportunity for Starlink 11-8. They had to hold due to a uh, aircraft in the range. If you haven't yet, take a moment and engage that subscribe button so you never miss another live launch coverage. We'll, of course, be back tomorrow for another launch opportunity. Uh, and, uh, yeah, make sure you head on over and check out our brand new two Starbase live cameras. We have one aimed over towards the build site and Space HQ. We'll be zooming that in to see things happening as they go. And then, of course, we have our launch site and now Massey's cam as well. So make sure you check those out. Stay up to date with everything happening down at Starbase as we await the conclusion of the FAA investigation and countdown to Flight 8. We'll see how quickly that's able to happen. For now, from our TLP Space Coast Studio, my name's Zach, and we will see you next time because space is better together, and we'll see you on the Discord.